from the busy workbench and the warped brain of Gary Anderson living in Stephen, Minnesota, population of 650. He has the largest train collection accumulation on the east side of town. Comes a jet-powered passenger train engine. It's 1950. Imagine boarding a futuristic rocket-powered rail car. It has a huge wind splitter stabilizer on the nose going over the roof. Wings sprout on the sides but are bent into 90 degree tips for wayside clearance. It's powered by three rocket packs on the back. You enter, strap into your seats, looking out of the round port hills. You feel the rockets igniting and gaining power with increasing noise and vibration. The brakes are released and you're propelled down the track with a G-force thrust. The rocket engines are bright red from the heat. As you disappear down the track, all that can be seen is the bright white light from the thrusters. Okay, we're set for our maiden run. And here we go, it's getting ready. Here she's all set to go, and she's off! Here she comes back. This is the insides of the, the rocket passenger car. And if you look on the left, you can see uh, the truck, front truck with the reverse unit on it and a headlight. And then we have the vibrator unit uh, with part of a spoked wheel on it, a drive engine wheel. And as that spins, it starts vibrating through the through the chassis and through the through the body. And the faster, the more power you give it, the faster it spins and the more it vibrates. And there is a power unit with another uh, light bulb on it. And you can see the thrusters and there's the wind wind splitter. And there is the wing. <laughs>